why. So yeah, for warming up again, uh, another idea you can try uh, as far as getting to know the neck is something you know called finger patterns. And if, of course, we're going to go one, two, three, four are the finger numbers. And uh, you could just make different combinations. Uh, for instance, if we started on one, four, three, two, and then switch strings. Okay, then we could switch that up. We could go one, four, two, three, one, two. And once again, we're just practicing our, our basic rudiments and getting our, our alternate picking going. Uh, you maybe try it with your thumb. Uh, then you could try, say, one, three, two, four. Or how about one, three, four, two? This is a cool idea. Then the next thing would be, why don't we start with the second finger and do a pattern? So we'll play this with the metronome uh, because it's just a good way to get our time together. And the uh, first one we're going to do, we're going to be in eighth position. And we'll, we will do, um, so each finger, one, two, three, and four, uh, we'll call out the, the finger combination. So the first one we're going to try is one, four, three, two, which would be one, four, three, two. And I'd like you to play it with me. We're just going to concentrate on being in there with the metronome that's going to be on two and four, playing good uh, tone with our left hand and, you know, good alternate picking with our right hand. Let's try it. We'll start out with one, four, three, two. I'm going to try to call out these numbers as we go and um, try not to mess it up. And you play along with me. All right, here we go. We'll start with one, four, three, two. One, two. One, two, three. Switch strings. Okay, good. Now let's try another combination. How about one, four, two, three? So that would be one, four, two, three. Here we go. One, two, three, four. We're doing two on each string. How about one, three, two, four? That would be one, three, two, four. Let's try it. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Great. Now we could do the same idea, but we'll start now with our second finger. So first one we'll try is two, four, one, three, which would be two, four, one, three. So let's try it. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Great. Now let's try another pattern starting with the second finger. Two, four, three, one. Two, four, three, one. One, two, three, four.
good. Now, how about we start a few patterns with the third finger? So let's try three, one, four, two. Three, one, four, two. One, two, a oh, one, two, three, four. It's good for your concentration, isn't it, too? How about we try another one with the third finger? We'll start this one. Three, four, one, two. Three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four. Great, now the last one would be starting patterns with our fourth finger. And of course you can make up your own patterns, but this is just a good way. Already my hand is starting to feel uh, more connected. And uh, it's great just to, you know, with the metronome to get your sound and your, uh, you know, think about the, the basics, you know, getting a good sound, good alternate picking with the right hand and where the placement of your fingers is in the right spot. You want it to be right, you know, close to the, close to the fret, but not too close so that you get a buzzing sound. You want a clear, bell-like sound. So the final one would be, the, starting with our fourth finger, the first pattern could be four, one, three, two. So that'd be four, one, three, two. So let's try it with the metronome. One, two, three, four. Let's try one more, starting with the fourth, and then, you know, like I said, you can come up with your own mathematical, you know, combinations that you like. And it's just a good way to practice and get warmed up in the morning, getting to know our neck, getting a good sound, zenning out on the guitar a little bit. How about we try four, three, one, two. Four, three, one, two. One, two, three, four. some ideas of uh, getting to know the neck and some nice guitar warm-up ideas. Mm -hmm.